Tribe Weekly. I'm McKenna Bentley and I'm Ms. Arden and we're here to bring you the latest news and information from Tatuga High School. Last week the CHS CTAE department sponsored a college and career fair. 30 vendors participated in the event. Students were able to visit with a variety of industry professionals, college representatives, and the Georgia Mobile Career Unit. Each student at CHS had the opportunity to attend the career fair. The day was topped off by the fall CTAE advisory meeting. We appreciate all the vendors who participated. CHS HOSA hosted a blood drive with the American Red Cross last week. There were 77 students, faculty, and community members who, do who donated, and the drive collected 50 pints of blood, potentially saving 150 lives. We are so appreciative of those who took the time out of their day to donate. Congratulations to our FFA Ag Sales Team for placing first at the Area 1 Agricultural Sales CDE held at Etowah High School. They now move on to state competition to be held at Fort Valley State University on February 7th and 8th. Stay tuned to One Tribe Weekly. Georgia Northwestern Technical College is now accepting applications for classes. We offer programs in business, health, industrial, and public service at six campus locations with financial aid options as well. Take day, evening, or online classes to get your degree, diploma, or certificate. Apply now. Drop by one of our campuses today or check us out at gntc.edu, Georgia Northwestern Technical College. to One Tribe Weekly. Tuesday night, CHS hosted FAFSA, free application for federal student aid night where seniors and their parents could come and complete the FAFSA paperwork. Experts were on hand to help parents and students navigate the lengthy paperwork process. Our Lady Indians volleyball team held their banquet. All players earned their letter and senior Emily D. Berry was awarded the team's most valuable player award. She was also named to the Rome News Tribune's all-state team. Congratulations on a great season, ladies. Seniors took part in Georgia's Apply to College Day last Monday. Representatives from Dalton State and Georgia Northwestern Technical College were on hand to assist students. Many Georgia schools waived their application fees. And that wraps it up for this edition of One Tribe Weekly. Thank you for, for watching, watching and, and go, go Indians! Indians. <laughs>